All right, so I did some stuff on simultaneous equation before. Um, and you can check it out, some really good stuff. But I keep seeing in the comments people talking about simultaneous equations still. So I'm going to take some time to do a video just explaining the elimination method and that whole process and what to look out for for the elimination methods. Between today and yesterday, I spent some good hours trying to go live. It didn't work out. So the moral of this story is no live until I get a new laptop. Get into it one time. We started off with this little equation. Here is the example: two x plus five y equal. Um, so there's like a system of equations equal eleven. Three x minus five y equal four. So how do we solve this? The first thing I want you to do is always name your equations. So equation one, equation two, you name them, fellas. So even if you know this already, this will be a good revision for you, right? And this is the rule that you may be familiar with. If the signs are the same, we would subtract. And if the signs are different, then we add. What signs are we talking about? This is for the person who don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about the signs and these two numbers. Why those two numbers? Because those two numbers are the same. And the whole business about the elimination method is to eliminate a variable. So which variable we eliminate in here we eliminate in the y because both of these two numbers are the same. Now if these two numbers were the same here for the x I would eliminate them. Now notice how my, um, the x's are lined up, the y's are lined up and the numbers by themselves are lined up. So everybody's aligned. That makes it easier to do the elimination method process, right? So. What we're going to do here is look at these signs in front of the numbers that are the same. It's positive and negative. And if the signs are different, then we need to add equation 1 and equation 2. So everything you need to do here, everything you do in this, you should kind of like state it. It's just like, so it's like, you know, in those animes when they're about to do a move and they call out the name of the move, um, something, 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 and they do the move. Uh, right. So it's just so in maths, you do, uh, you're going to do something, so you call it out and then you do it. So what did we do? We add the two equations together. How did that work? Let's check. 2x plus 3x, 5x. So that's why it's so important to do it in a line. Positive 5y plus negative 5y, 0y. That's the variable we're eliminating. Once we follow our things correctly, our rule correctly, one of the variables goes bye-bye. That's nothing. That disappears. Now sometimes these equations can be in a mess, eh? so you, do, you wouldn't get it lined up properly and we'll see what to do when that happens later on. Anyhow, so 11 plus 4, 15 and we'll just end up with 5x equal 15 in the end, you find out your value of x equal 3. And I know a lot of y'all familiar with this, you just need to hear it again, um, see it again in a nice little pretty format in your revision. <coughs> so you're substituting this x equal 3 into equation 1. This is the next step. So you eliminate, you get a variable x or so y. Sometimes you'll get y instead of x. And then you substitute the answer you got into any one of these first equi um, equations here. So I'm substituting it. I pick equation 1. So let's substitute it in equation 1 and see what value of y we're going to pull out there. y turns out to be 1. So when we substituted it, instead of x up here, we're going to write the value of um, of x as 3, right? And substitute it in that equation. And it just works out 6. Bring across this 6. Do your thing now. Do your thing. Well, these lines coming out from by. So you do your thing and you come up with y equal 1. And by the way, you should note that if... What you're, what you're happening here? If this was one line and this was another line here, this, this x and y value, which came from here, right? Which came from here. It represents, it represents the point of intersection. Boom, right? The point of intersection. All right, let's check out the next one. So you have 4x minus 2y equals 6, 3x plus y equals 2. So that means we can't just automatically eliminate. We need to do a little multiplication first. We're going to name the equations and then we're going to get ready to multiply an equation by a variable. Now what equation I multiply? I multiply equation 2 by 2. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Because I want to make a 2 here. So to 
to get these 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 numbers to be the same i just choose this equation and multiply by two and if this is by two this will be by two as well so i'll turn to six and this will be four so i'll just create a new equation <clears throat> and i'm calling that equation equation three are you seeing that i should also mention a lot of students should just multiply these two find the lcm and multiply each equation by so equation one will get multiplied by three and equation two will get multiplied by four and that way works as well but in some cases you don't need to do all that multiplication like in this case i just multiply one equation by two and i good to go all right so once i get this equation three i'm pretending like i'm not seeing even seeing this equation here bye bye equation i'm not seeing you anymore so i'm going to use equation one and equation three and add the two of them together just like before and let's see what happens get the 10x the y is eliminated again why because this is negative and this is positive remember we add in since the signs are different eh? if the signs were the same we would subtract or there's something else that we could do we could like multiply one of the equation by negative one and still add but you know that's all kind of craziness so x works out to be one i substitute x into which equation i feel in by equation two so substitute x into equation two um just substitute that value of x as one from what we just got and y is negative one obviously now the, the point of intersection between these two is going to be x equal one and y equal negative one all right so they may ask that question i see some people are worried about um doing simultaneous equations and solving it via uh, a graphical method which is pretty simple and straightforward so when i when i'm touching functions i will come to that right now i'm just sticking up some algebra here sticking on some algebra i'm about to show you the worst case scenario and what could happen and what you'll do so in a worst case scenario you get some kind of weird looking equations like this and you need to actually change them into a more applicable format so i'll just rearrange equation one and equation two rewrite equation one and equation two and get it to look like the format that we are accustomed to now your algebra manipulation skills had to be a little kind of all right -ish to be able to do this right you notice what happened here i brought across the two because i want the numbers on this side so it turned positive and i also rearranged the x and the y i didn't really need to do that i could have just kept all the y's here all the x's there but you know just for familiarity and i also rearranged equation two and i brought across this x and i left the six there so that's what we have there both of those equations they're looking good now nice in fact i gave them a brand new name i didn't need to do that i could call them equation one equation two again but i'll call them a new thing all right so we have a problem here if you notice if you notice none of these numbers are the same like well this doesn't matter but none of these numbers here for the x's or y the coefficients of x and y are not the same as the number before the number before x is called the coefficient of x number before y none of these are the same for the two equations and i can't multiply three by anything you know to get five really any integer i can't multiply four um, by anything to get nine, you know any exact number. So what am I going to do? All right So I mentioned this before you, you what you need to do is multiply Equation four by three and equation three by the number here five Why because the LCM of three and five is fifteen five into fifteen is three So you multiply this whole equation by three <clears throat> um, Three into fifteen is five. So you multiply this whole equation here by five so that's it you can you can also find the lcm of 4 and 9 which is 36 and, and and use these numbers instead as if these numbers were in front okay let's see how it works so equation 3 is going to get a taste of 5 and equation 4 is going to get beat down with the 3 <clears throat> this is going to form two new equations they call it equation 5 and 6 real names go real names going on here but it's, it makes it neater and easier to understand and check over if you just you know name and you go along and you write your thing properly so now that we are in a gear I think these two numbers are the same here, yes, 15x, 15x. The signs are the same though. In front of 15 is positive, in front of this 15 is positive. Since you're not seeing no sign, it means we are dealing with positive numbers. So we will have to take away the equations, not add like we were doing in the last two examples. So we take away the equations. X goes bye bye, because 15 take away 15 is 0x. So this is nothing. I keep writing 0x and 0y. You don't even need to write that, right? All right, so 27 take away 20y, 27y take away 20y, 7y, 
and negative 18 take away 10 negative 28 work it out you get y is equal to negative 7 negative 4 sorry you substitute y equal negative 4 integration 1 lo and behold you get the x value there what going on here why them yellow lines is coming in the dance so that so that's the answer i hope this really helped for you to review and to fully understand your elimination method i just want to take some time to mention people who got the answer to the mosquito trying to bite me a whole video yeah so i'm taking some time to call out vinsta dimitri megan and michelle or who answered the question in the last video these were the answers so you can go back and check that video the last video those are the answers to it that I left and I'm going to leave some new questions for you to do. Here's a simultaneous equation from May 2016. You can do that one. Here's a simultaneous equation question from May 2009. Now notice this one has a worded equation. It's worded man. So you need to actually pull out the equation from those words. Alright yeah so you can have some fun with that. Make sure and subscribe. Check out the other simultaneous equation videos. Press like. Share with your friends. Do the necessaries. Uh, when you press like, you know, the video goes up, up, and up, so you can, more people can get to see it. So, you know, try and do that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, let's subscribe. We're waiting on my the best thing for CSEC. Subscribe, brother. Yeah, later.